Right students, so as far as the, the, the topic of denaturation of DNA has been concerned, I have already discussed that uh, usually the meaning of denaturation is the um, unwinding of the double helix which is exposing the base pairs of the DNA which is actually preserved inside the helix. So um, they are actually being uh, I mean exposed with the help of certain denaturing agents and um, the first factor which I was describing is uh, due to temperature, denaturation due to temperature. So if you see that basically what happened is that DNA is very stable at a particular temperature but as temperature reaches where the DNA may get denatured and uh, the temperature of somewhere around 78-80 degrees centigrade is basically we call it as melting temperature. Melting temperature is a temperature at which half of the DNA gets denatured that is 50% of DNA gets denatured. Now the, this particular feature is what we call as at this temperature we call it as denaturation temperature or melting temperature. So uh, how will you observe that the denaturation has taken place? Um, you can check the absorbance at 260 nanometer. 260 nanometer is the lambda max of DNA. 260 nanometer is the absorption at UV light of UV light by this DNA. So make sure that um, the temperature, the melting temperature of DNA is high when the GC content is high, right? So um, uh, G is triple bonded with C, right? So um, and, and GC content is more in, in, in DNAs, I mean somewhere around 60% and uh, T, ATT concentration is less, okay? So the first thing you will be observing is that the um, uh, denaturation and when denaturation start happening, you can see over here that 50% at 50% the, the, uh, when the DNA gets uh, denatured we call it as TM right so this is the melting curve of DNA while 100% of DNA gets denatured so at this time all of the DNA strands gets exposed I mean base pairs gets exposed so first thing with that will happen is that the absorbance will be increased you can see that uh, due to the, with the degree of denaturation the absorbance is increasing you can see from here to here the absorbance gets increased okay so uh, the second thing you can observe is that the decrease in optical rotation and the third one you will observe is decrease in viscosity because all the base pairs are now exposed see the opposite of denaturation is renaturation what will happen if you melt if you try to cool down the melted dna i mean at see at a high temperature it gets melted but at a, when you try to cool it down it is always possible to reassociate in me i mean let, let those strands come back but make sure that in this phenomenon of renaturation a double stranded molecule um, can only come back if the complementary strands collide in such a way that uh, means their bases must be paired precisely miss pairing now right so this is a very um, I mean um, very keen process right so 1 kb DNA fragments are denatured by heating above its TM and then renatured at temperature 10 degrees centigrade below the TM for example, if 80 degree is the TM, so at 70 degree the DNA will be getting denatured for every 1 uh, kilo base pair. So this can be monitored again by uh, change in absorbance. If you will observe that the absorbance has been decreased, it means that re renaturation has taken place and this particular uh, terminology we call it as hypochromic effect. So hypochromic effect is decrease in absorbance of light when the renaturation takes place. Uh, so this is all about DNA, uh, denaturation and renaturation. Thank you.